Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a banana cake in this pan. It's a bundt pan. So I've been making this. It's really a banana bread that I've been making since 1993, but I've tweaked it a bit and with the ingredients and you're going to love it. And I'm going to show you how to make it and I'm going to show you that so, oops, so fast to make I'm actually going to put on my stopwatch to show you how quick it is. So the first thing we're going to want to do is turn on the oven. And I always like to make sure there's nothing in the oven because sometimes I do leave a pot or something. And today, since spring's almost here, I'm going to do it with lemon zest. However, these are great things you can get at natural grocers, the ground cinnamon and other spices to put in and that's what I use in the fall. But this time I want to do the zest and the reason I'm zesting it before is why I'm doing zesting is my first uh, chore ingredient is because what I found is if you put the bananas in a blender rather than mashing them up, it makes a banana cake, but you don't have all the heavy uh, butter and other ingredients. So we've got our zest. So now I'm going to put in four bananas that are about medium size. And I make a lot of breads and one time I was pureeing the mango and I thought wow I wonder how it would be with pureeing the banana and I just love it so that's my new way it does make an extra dirty dish but it's not the end of the world so the next thing I do is I put in my flavorings so I am going to put in the juice of this lemon you always have to use a strainer because you never know how many seeds are in the lemon. You can also use a reamer which will get all the juice better than squeezing it with your hands. Okay, so then I also put in only a half a cup of sugar for this entire, like it, let's just call it a cake, but it is a bread. And this is the cane sugar from Natural Grocers. And we're going to put right in here the half of the cup. And then what I found is if I also add a half a cup of water. That helps blend it up and we can add our salt now. It does take a full teaspoon of salt. So here's my measure. So I might as well get that in too. And I'm using the pink Himalayan salt from Natural Grocers and it's great. I love it. So we're going to get that going. pureed and ready to go. So I can move this out of the way. Now we're going to go to our a bowl. And what I want to show you are the eggs I use. Okay, these eggs are also from natural grocers. They're local from Colorado. They're organic pasture raised and they're absolutely delicious. So I put two eggs. We already put in our salt. We've already put in our sugar in the banana mixture so we can get that right in because we're also now, after this, going to add our oil. And the oil I like to use is coconut oil. So I use a half a cup 
of the highest quality coconut oil you do have to. Here, I'll mix this up a little bit. You do have to microwave it or get it soft, but I put in a half a cup. And I want to start mixing that right away so it doesn't harden. Move this out of the way. So, also you can use walnut oil if you want, but I really prefer the coconut oil. Then I just use the tiniest amount of vanilla because we do have the lemon juice and the lemon zest, and we don't want it to compete with flavors. But this is from also natural, from also from Natural Grocers, which I think you will like. Okay, so basically all we have to do now is add our flour, our baking powder, because we are in Colorado, and our nuts. But one of the main things we have to do that's really important with this pan is grease the inside. And the best way to do it is with this little brush. Now I have found that with this cake it pops out. I'll just use this to make it easier. But you can also put the coconut oil. But you really want to rub this good. Okay, so we'll set this here. That's ready to go. And what I like to use now when I bake is a scale. It's just a lot easier. So I'm going to put this on top and then clear my scale. And I'm going to put a full tablespoon. I know that seems like a lot of baking powder, but because we're in Colorado, we're high and it's very hard for things to rise. Um, and then the flour I use is Bob's Red Mill all purpose, but I just put it in this because it's easier to get access to. So we're going to put 350 uh, grams of flour. So we're at 250. And there we are, 350. I can take it off the scale and now mix it. I might have to switch to a wooden spoon, but we'll see. So let's just see how many minutes we are in. Eight minutes and 37 seconds. This is probably going to take the longest amount of time. See, I just love to puree the bananas. You can put this in muffin tins or a loaf pan, but I just love this new bunt pan. And also, when it cooks in the oven, the edges caramelize a little bit, so they're kind of crunchy, like, it's just so delicious. Okay, so that's all mixed up. And I did say I was going to put a little bit of flour in here, just to make sure. And we'll shake that around and I'll uh, pour out the remainder over the sink. Let's see. Okay, now we want to get our cup of nuts in. And once again, it's the Natural Grocers Light Pieces Walnuts. I don't even have to cut them up. We're going to put in a half a cup. Actually, I'm going to put in a whole cup. So this is a half. We'll put in. So there you go. Now I'm going to get a wooden spoon. 
just makes it easier. So I hope you guys try this at home. As I said, I've been making it since 1993. That's a long time. And it is a real family winner. Okay. Now we're going to get this in the bunt pan. That's kind of the most challenging to, to move it. I think I'm going to get a spatula too. Usually not this messy, but I'm just trying to rush a little bit. So we can get rid of this. So did I say we have to preheat the oven at 350. I kind of move this at the same time as we're pouring it in. And that's it, guys. We do have to. Hit it against the countertop to get out any air bubbles. So we'll do that seven or ten times. Just want to make sure. Let me double check the temperature. Yes, it's good. So this cooks fairly quickly. Let's see our, we have to put on our timer for that. We're at 12 minutes. And let me stop that and reset. And we're going to start this. I think it cooks for about 30 minutes, but we're going to check on it in 20. So there you have it, guys. Your banana bread, banana cake. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, it's 29 minutes. We're going to check it. I think it's done. That looks good. So I'm going to turn off the oven. I will test it with a cake tester to make sure. But it looks done. So I'm going to set it on this little rack to cool. And I'll come back in 30 minutes and then we'll turn it over. Okay, the cake's been cooling for a little over 30 minutes. It's still kind of warm, so it might be uh, too early for it to come out, but let's hope it does. I'll put this over the top. The great reveal, let's see. So I've got this cake plate. We can put it on that. And another little nice touch is to put some powdered sugar. I have it in a little sifter here. We'll just put, it's only about a quarter teaspoon. It's not very much. There you have it guys, your banana cake. But it's really a banana bread because it's got a cup of walnuts in it. But it's very nutritious and it has coconut oil, which is good for you, as well as only a half a cup of sugar. So I hope you guys enjoy. It goes great with coffee in the morning. Until next time.